and this is the view of the day hi people welcome to my channel i'm peggy nice to meet you guys i'm a solo hiker today i'm at joffy lake i'm tired <laughs> I never hide this hide up at Joffy Lake. This is my first time that I'm here. And apparently no one actually around me. Like everybody stopped there, which is that over there, if you can see it, it's my tent. I'm gonna stay here overnight. If it's rainy, I will just stay one night. But if everything go well, I will stay for two nights. If you like my channel, please hit like and subscribe or leave the comment. I put so much effort for this video, but it's fine. If you don't like it, it's only fine as well. <coughs> This is heavy. <clears throat> Got everything, right? I think so. Oh, no jean, no jean bottles. Fuck, I forgot. Yes, my water bottle. Uh. Wow, it's time to go. It is a beautiful day. Good, because last night was pissing rain. Travel montage. Oh my god, it's cold. Hi, I'm at Joffy Lake. It's a little bit cloudy and I'm excited. It's it's really cold. Uh, I just heard that from the ranger that it's, it snowed last night and a little bit stormy. We'll see if I survive. <laughs> oh my god, this is so heavy. This is the first lake. Go this way, but I'm not going. I'm gonna go that way. It's cold. I like it. You know why? Because there's no bugs. <laughs> yeah, this is the first one. Ah. It's a bridge. It's a little bit wet trail. No, it's not a little bit, it's wet. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, I didn't actually don't have, didn't prepare for the gloves because it's cold. However, because I'm a crazy woman, so I actually happen to have a pair of gloves in my car. So, <laughs> I have it. <laughs> Montage again. getting steep but it's okay I'm in the you really challenge section. <laughs> There's a lot of stairs. With the pack, it's really difficult. And there's much more stairs to go. And that is the first lake. And I'm still walking. Almost, almost to the second lake though. Well, I can see the second lake now. Ta -da! So we're at the second lake and it's pissing rain. <laughs> it's like so empty. I never been to Joffy Lake and it's like so little of the people. Like look at this. 
but it's rain. Setting up the tent in the, in the rain again. We'll see. Well, I'm at the iconic Joffrey Lake shot here. Normally it will be a light up, like crazy light up. Today, there's no one. <laughs> it's cloudy, rainy, and almost empty, but there's still people here. Look at this. All this by yourself. This is so cool. I'm heading to the Upper Lake Campground. That's I say it's gonna take out about an hour. It's like 1.7 kilometer. Yeah, see you there. I'm about to enter the third lake, the Upper Lake, but I still have to walk to the campground. I'm heading to the campground. Almost there. Just many, many rocks. <laughs> it's really slippery as well. Ah. Ah. Don't break your pole pig. It's cloudy, but I can, like, this is a mountain behind me. Super cloudy, it's been rainy, but I have hope because over there is open sky. So hopefully tonight it will open because I'm excited to put my camera out at night for the night laps. Yeah, I've been walking. Normal people will walk like two hours to get here, but today is sleepy. And I have my 30 pound packs on my back. Took me almost three hours to get to this point and I still have like a little bit more for the campsite. Where's the campsite? This is not a campsite for sure. Okay, okay. Let's go find a campsite. Uh-oh, not my back. Oh my, hello. The sky start to open up. Hopefully tonight we can have a good night lap. I saw a video on YouTube. There was a guy walk up to that, to the glacier. I want to do that. I heard Pika. <laughs> this one. So they basically will collect the grass and then dry it under the sun and then collect it for the winter. Then they can eat it. So I'm having my lunch. Have lunch. Rice and it's cold now. It was warm this morning. This is my view. <laughs> so here we go. A lot of rice though. I am hungry. Cheers. My foothead has a problem with the audios, but there was me get ready to walk up to the trail, plan to go up to the glacier through this rocky trail. So here I am, start walking up from my tent up to the trail, planning to go up to the glacier. I really recommend everybody that's coming to go to see glacier with this kind of rocky trail to have hiking pole. I am struggle with the hiking pole is helped my life so much easier, save my knees, save my back, everything. So this is me climbing up at the rocky trail. It's really nice to have hiking pole. Be careful though, cause like this part is still fine, but like make sure that the rocks that you step on is stable, cause otherwise you can just easily fall. 
And that is the point I decided to come back and retrieve my camera. Joffrey Lake is one of the BC most beautiful lake. It's worth the price and the time that you hiking up with your friend. Make sure you come up with your friend. And if you come to Pemberton, don't forget to check this lake out. It's worth the hike. This is me. Here is Upper Joffrey Lake. Still quite a long way to go. We'll see where I'm gonna stop. Let's go. The unrealistic goal was to go up there, that one, which I have to walk all the way up somehow there. I don't know. I don't think I'm going there because it's scary. It is scary. I literally, literally alone by myself. I just gonna go to like a little water there from the glacier get some water and then walk back to my tent so yeah this one you can walk here perfect snow still some snow you know when you look at the mountain and then you realize how tiny you are compared to the mountain you you it's just so strong and you are nothing and my water there's two people over there there's two people this is literally from Fraser this is awesome if you have chance to come to Vancouver Joffrey Lake is really a beautiful place to visit But apparently this is really good scooter. I already bought this. I don't want to spend more money so I'm stuck with this. <laughs> okay, just got some water. Oh my god, it's so cold. Guys, this is so refreshing. Recommend it! So, I got some water. Filled it up the water. I have about like almost 2 liters. Good for the night for sure. And then heading back to the tent. You know, the hardest thing of walking in this kind of uh, terrain is make sure that the rock that you step on is stable. I just stepped on this bad boy and, and I almost fell. <laughs> Luckily, I have a hiking pole. That's why you hike with hiking pole. Hiking pole considered as my first aid kit. It's rain again. <laughs> So I don't know what to expect tonight. In May now, I don't know, who knows, you know? So make sure you bring all the layers that you need when you go hiking on the mountain, because you never know. Like I checked Google weather before I came here, it says sunny, and now it's rain. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there is a rain wall here. And the sun came out again, but still rain. So the rain just make everything so slippery and really hard to walk back, but I can do this. I'm in my tent. Spacious. Which is it is. I can sit here. Kind of messy, but look fine in the camera. I was planning to put my pack outside because I want to have some space. But I saw many, many, uh, no chickpea, pika outside. And then I heard they will shoot like your strap and your bag. So it's like, okay, you know what? Keep it in here. And you know what happened after? It was raining. <laughs> and it might rain again. So it's a good idea to keep the pack inside. <laughs> Well, this time I have Kindle, so I'm gonna read some book and I'll see you at the dinner time. It's pouring rain and it's cold. I have everything. I have best layer, neck warmer, mid layer, and I'm gonna have like Dow jacket on me as well. It's cold. But I really like it. The washroom over there. I don't like that mushroom. Okay, this is a real.
This is from the washroom, the toilet to the campsite. If you want to go to the washroom at night, you have to walk through this. Like my campsite is around that. So if I need to pee at night, I'm not, I'm not walking through this. I'm gonna die at night if I do this. Like when I got here in the morning, I asked the ranger, I was like, oh, do you have the washroom like by the campsite? He was like, oh yeah, it's five minutes away from the campsite. This is not five minutes away, bro. This is like 15 minutes. In the dark? Holy cow. Okay. <clears throat> this is a food storage. You go like here and then you turn right. My food. Come on. Uh, I have dehydrated food that I made, so I'm gonna try it out. I never tried it. Hopefully, it worked out. Otherwise, that's it. I only have kimchi fried rice and pasta, poly fried rice, because I wanted to see how it tastes. I'm gonna have dinner with this book. This is my dinner room tonight. This is my kimchi fried rice that I dehydrated myself. Okay, I never made this one before. So I will put the water just to cover the food and then boil it, cover it. Once it's boiled, cover it and then let it soak for 10 minutes. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, it's boiling. Turn it off and I will let it sit for 10 minutes and then we'll see what kind of meals I'm gonna have. Like if it's gonna be fried rice or it's gonna be congee. That's the question. But no matter what, I'm gonna eat it and it smells delicious. I can't believe that I will say this, but it smells good. It's been 10 minutes. It's looking good. Uh oh, still lots of water. I'm just gonna boil some water off. I went back and then put on some fire more and it seemed like I burned a, a little bit on the bottom. But it's it's so far, it's, it's fine to me. We'll see how it tastes. I, I literally make everything by myself. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. You know, it's so nice because it's kind of cold and the warm food just like went down to the tummy. It's actually nice. Besides the burn uh, smell a little bit, everything's great. Like my pork hydrate well, mm -hmm. cabbage, carrots hydrate well, rice hydrate well. It works! I'm a cheap ass bitch. Um, I was thinking to buy a dehydrated food, but it's like 18 bucks per bag. The one that I want to eat, I can't, I can't eat um, gluten. So if I, like for example, for this trip, I probably need like three to four bags and that costs a lot, almost like 100 bucks, right? Including tax. I saw the hydrator was on sale for like 70 bucks. So I was like, oh, perfect. There you go. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my video, please hit like and subscribe or leave the comment, whatever you want. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hopefully it's no rain tonight.
by my campsite. One last look. Bye bye lake. Bye bye Gracia. Gracia. Gotta walk back to my reality. <laughs> okay, I'm on the way, but I think this is blueberries. It looks like I'm bleeding. No, it's not, it's from the berry. It's good. <laughs> bye bye, leg. Make it back to the parking lot. Bye.